Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, so I'm actually still at home because I'm going to work at home today and um, just before I start working I'm going to pop out for a run so hence why I've got my running gear on. It is pretty cold outside but I'm hoping the run will be all right and um, yeah I'm just trying to like get a bit of get a bit of a healthy start to today because um, I had like my Christmas party on Friday, I had the dinner with the YouTubers on Saturday and a bit of a lazy day yesterday and I just want to keep keep myself exercising like I'm trying I have been trying to just not let this December be too extravagant and um, I really want to like just get into a bit more of a healthy lifestyle this 2018 has not been the healthiest of years for me and I really want um to go into 2019 with a different mindset so I'm sort of I know December's like probably the worst month ever to try and start like a bit more of a healthy lifestyle but I'm certainly just not letting it be as an as extravagant as a December as it normally would be as extravagant of a December as it normally would be <laughs> words this early in the morning sometimes escape me but um yeah so I'm just yeah I'm gonna get a run in and then that's like a good start to my day and I'll get myself a healthy breakfast and that sort of stuff and yeah I'm just feeling like I need to do something healthy today <laughs> um so yeah I'm gonna go get that done now and then um I'll be just working from home for a bit and then I'll catch up with you guys later so I am on lunch break I had a really good run actually so I did week I'm on week two of the Couch to 5K training plan on the app. I had gotten a bit further and then I went back to the start because um, I missed a few runs when I was really ill just before Vlogmas. So um, yeah, the run went fine. I always like, it's always the first few, like you do these little sets where you'll do like run and then walk. So like today was run for 90 seconds, walk for two minutes. And the first few 90 seconds like feel like an eternity and you're like, how am I gonna get through this whole thing? But as you get warmed up and get into it, it always gets easier. But it's always those first few, I'm like, oh, why have I decided to do this? It's cold outside and it's hard. <laughs> um, but yeah, they went okay. Um, and I've just been working away now and it's just lunchtime. So I am going to open my advent calendars. And I have a couple of days to open because I have not been here. So today is the 16th, right? So I have, I think 15 and 16. Let's start with Yankee advent calendar. I've got it here and it is all is oh no it's christmas cookie yeah it's christmas cookie i like christmas cookie it's very sweet but it's nice um and it's good i think like the ones that are really sweet i thought i like that it's in this just this little small thing because a whole jar of like that sweet do you know sometimes you just have a jar like that if it's in your room even if it's not lit it's like overwhelming like the smell of it and um, so it's nice to just have it in a little tea light number 16 Oh, I think this is another one of the one that we were missing for ages. Yeah, Christmas memories. Mm-hmm. Smells like Christmas. Kind of smells like smells a bit like um like gingerbread men, but also like um something else. I don't know. It just like kind of has like a bit of berry or like like a mold wine type sort of smell off it. And then we have Disney baubles. Okay. 15 is in here. Ooh, this is cool. Got a sparkly Mickey glove. And number 16. I'm trying to decide what to do because um, the last time I'm going to be here is going to be Wednesday, which is the 18th. And then I'm not going to be in this class, so I'm not going to have my advent calendars. Um, and I was trying to decide what to do. Like, do I open them all in advance? Because, like, I'm not really a believer in opening advent calendars in advance. But I'm a real stickler for the rules. Like, you can't... Because as a child, I used to open them in advance. I used to, like, eat all their chocolates. And I'd be, like, shaking the calendar to get the chocolates to fall down to other <laughs> open windows. That's so terrible. Oh, no! Oh, okay, so number 16 has gone walkabout somewhere else within the calendar. Oh, there it is. Here we go. So number 16 is the plain Mickey glove. Um, yeah, so um, I don't really know what to do. Like, do I just open them all in advance? I definitely, I think, want to open the Christmas socks and bring them home with me to Ireland. Um, 
I could leave the marshmallows, but then I guess then you will get like it won't I won't be opening it on Vlogmas because I'm not gonna be doing Vlogmas right after Christmas. I think maybe I just need to open them all. And maybe like we can I can open like all the marshmallows and then toast them all. Cause what it'll be the 18th, so I'll have five I have seven. That's a lot, isn't it? I mean I don't mind about keels because when I get home Rachel has the keels advent calendar. So I guess I could still do advent calendar opening because I'll have Rachel, like Rachel has the exact same calendars as me. She has the socks, she has the keels, she has the um, marshmallow. So you'll still get to, we'll still do an advent opening every day and you'll still get to see them. But maybe I will, um, I'll open my socks anyway and bring them with me. I'm not sure whether I'll open the marshmallows or not. I'll wait and see. I don't know. I might, I don't know. <laughs> So indecisive. Okay, so anyway, that is the Disney advent calendar. Then we will do, let's do marshmallow. So marshmallow, we are looking for 15. There we go. It is gingerbread, yummy. Oh, it smells good. And 16, let's do here. Mint chop chip. I'm liking the mint chop chip and it smells amazing. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna eat these two. I'm not gonna toast them. And then I think when I have, when I open a couple on um, the 18th, although I will, I'll actually, I'll be home tomorrow so I can open tomorrow's. I can open the 17th tomorrow and then on the 18th, I might open a few extra. We'll see. <laughs> um, and then I have Kiehl's. So here is my Kiehl's big kahuna oh it's upside down so i've just shown it to you upside down so here so i have keels i'm looking for 15. there we go a powerful strength line reducing concentrate with hyaluronic acid ah so i guess it's kind of like an eye cream right a powerful strength line no line reducing concentrate Maybe if like under your eyes, like where you've got lines or like just wrinkles in general. That's quite interesting. And then 16. Facial fuel. Energizing moisture treatment for men. But I am not a man. That's weird, isn't it? I don't remember in my number seven ever getting a man's product. Energizing moisture treatment for men. Don't know how I feel about that. Socks, yay! So we get to open numbers three and four. See what's in three. I get so excited about this one. Ooh, it's stripey. It's got these cute little stripey socks. So I think I was saying before that there are some that are like not super Christmassy. They're just like stripey and cute, like these ones, which is good because it means I can wear them all year round. Um, and then we have number four. Oh, these are Christmassy though. These are little puddings. Love it. <laughs> I am gonna wear these. Oh, they're so cute. I'm gonna wear these to work tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so, oh, and my jokes. Oh my God, I completely forgot. I was giving out about other advent calendars not having jokes. And I think I only read the first joke out of this calendar. So let's do joke number two to four. Okay. Who is never hungry at Christmas? The turkey, he's always stuffed. <laughs> um, what cheese do you use to disguise a small horse? Masker pony. <laughs> That's funny. That's two cheese jokes. I like cheese jokes. Why shouldn't you play cards in the jungle? There are too many cheetahs. <laughs> All advent calendars should have jokes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so that is all my advent calendars for today. Um, if you've got any really good Christmas jokes, like I love cheesy jokes, just comment below. Leave me some more Christmas jokes. Christmas jokes, just, I love them. They make me so happy. Um, sorry, I'm just like casting an eye on my, I've got my laptop here with my work emails out. But um, 
yeah, so I'm just gonna grab some food and then get back to work for a bit and then I will catch you after work later. So I have had a very chilled evening. <laughs> um, I really haven't done very much, which is why I haven't vlogged. Um, literally just watched some TV, uh, caught up on MasterChef. Does anyone else watch MasterChef? I love MasterChef. Um, so uh, Marcus Waring is one of the judges and um, I think I've said before that I've been to his restaurant in London and it's amazing. <laughs> I only went because I got basically a tax refund from tax I'd paid in Ireland when I moved to the UK and um yeah because I'd been like overtaxed <laughs> and uh we uh I used that money then to take me and Jason to the restaurant and I think like I could only really justify the price because I'd gotten essentially free money <laughs> you know like do you think of it as free money when like you weren't expecting it and then you can be extravagant with it that's the way it, that's the way I look at things like that <laughs> and yeah so I took us to the restaurant and it was amazing it was such like a really special fancy experience um it was expensive but like it was proper like silver service and i'd never experienced that before that was like i'd been to nice restaurants but i just i'd, I'd never experienced it to that high standard and since then i've been i've been to america and i've been to um victorian alberts and i've been to remy on the disney dreams so like they're all similar similar standard but um, it was just so lovely and um, so i just love watching his show because i'm like oh, i've been to his restaurant <laughs> but anyway i love food and i love the food shows and i love seeing what they come up with because like, they come up with some amazing stuff but um, I was watching, so we watched, we saved the three episodes from last week because we didn't get to watch them together. So we watched all of them and um, they were really, really good. And there was this guy who did like a dessert that was based on like a spaghetti bolognese and it was, it, see, they all thought it was amazing. Like it tasted amazing. It was sweet. Like it had like tomatoes in it and everything. Oh, I mean, I just love to be able to cook like that. But then like I already have a problem with how much I love food. So if I could cook that good it would be a bigger problem I guess <laughs> but it's really something like that's like something that I want to get into more like I want to cook more I love cooking and I haven't done any of my cook with me videos this vlogmas I know I was better at doing that last year but I promise when I get home to Ireland I'll definitely be cooking and I will um have you guys cook with me um I did do nachos, but I mean, that's like, that's pretty basic. <laughs> but uh, like last year I did like a nice homemade beef pie, like slow cooked the beef and everything. I'm also gonna do um, ice cream on Wednesday when I'm off. So that will be yummy. Hopefully, fingers crossed it all works out. And um, yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, um, I'm gonna leave the vlog here because um, I'm just gonna get myself ready for bed and um, yeah, just gonna watch some TV in bed and go sleep. I'm getting up early in the morning to go for a run, so just don't want it to be too late tonight. And yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>